Okay, this is the Rubik's Cube. It's puzzled people for many years. I, hopefully, will teach you how to solve it. You have corners, and they can only be swapped with each other. Edges, and they can only be swapped with each other. So you can't put a corner on an edge piece or an edge piece where a corner is. So let's start just to scramble the cube and teach you how to solve it. Okay, that will think, think that will do for now. So what you're trying to look for is in the centres, and that's eventually what the side will be. So that's red, that's your blue side, orange side, green side, white and yellow. So you pick a side and we'll pick yellow. And we're trying to get across. So we've got a little one here already. That's yellow and yellow and there's green sliding up here with its centre we've got the yellow and red yellow red centre so it belongs there so we just put that like so with this one yellow and orange put it beneath so the yellow's on the bottom line it up and turn it over twice we've got yellow and blue left we can't go that way because it will be upside down so we have to go up the side so we break it put it on and put it back and now we have to do these corners so we've got yellow green and red yellow green and red center if it's on the if it's on the right hand side it pulls across Let's explain that again so you what you're doing is you're lining this up and then bringing it into position if it's on the other side, which it is here, you're just doing the reverse. If it's ever on the bottom, you've got to send it to the back, bring it through twice, so it's here now, and now it's on the right. I choose to, you can fill that in if you like, but I choose to leave that, and there's a reason for that. So now we're going to try and fill in these pieces, except for this spot here, which will become clear. So we've got red green, red green, put the slot underneath where it needs to be, move the right side, move the upside, and move that. And you can replace that if you like. We've now got orange and green, orange and green. Just move it up to the side and down again. That's that one. Now here we need to move this out so we can put it here. So what we can do is we can just move that out, which leaves us to be able to move that one in. Now here we need to get this yellow, we need to get this so it's yellow on the bottom to match with this side. Let's see. Ah, better explain that actually, rather than just do the move. If it's, we want to get this in here, so you can put it out of the back, move this up, and then we can put it down. Or if it was, if it was the other way, you just do the opposite. So, moving this up, yeah, move that out of the way. And then it's a matter of lining them up. So we've got two layers. Now we need to do this. We need the cross again. You will either have a line or a V or a full cross. If you've got the V, you need to do F, U, R, R prime, so U prime, R prime, F prime. To get that, the other one was the sorry Hang on. there right if you've got the line you do that and you may have you may have nothing like that you do F R U R U and F you put that V on the back and then you do it the other way now 
for this section you're trying to uh, you need to do R, you need to do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. If you do it again, that's what gives you the corners on the top. So you may end up with something like that. For that, you do it twice. And you do it, you would do it again. And that would solve it. If you've ever got that, two on the side, and this bar, if you like, you only need to, you need to do it twice again. You should only ever need to do it twice. Or the other positions, let's think. No, me, I'll screw it up. If it's if you've ever got this, you always have this piece facing you in this corner, and then you've got to do the left-handed version this time. So like that. But the easiest way to remember it is with this, if you've ever got this, this set up, sort of shooting out like that, or that's the other way, and any other pattern, as long as you put a white in that spot there and do the RU, RU, R move like that, then you should be able to somehow get to the corners with the way as I've explained. Now we're on the corners. We need to do the corners and then we need to do these edges and then it's solved. If you've got no corners matching at all, you need the following algorithm to help you. Left prime, U, R, U prime, left, up twice, right prime, up, right, up twice, right prime. And it gives you these two here. Turn twice and do the same moves again. Left prime, U, R, U prime, L prime, U2, R prime, U, R, U2, L prime. And you line up and you see what we've got left. We should have something, should at least have one in spot, in its spot, or you may have them swapped. You need to hold the cube like so, left twice, up, Back prime, sorry, back, front prime, left twice, back prime, front, up, left twice, and we should be there almost there. Do it again, left twice, up, back, front prime, left twice, and back the other way, and left twice, and you have solved the cube. I did forget to explain, sorry, what the sides mean. That's front, that's up, down, that's the back, and that's the left, and that's the right. So, if you ever do a front, it's like that, and that's a front prime. That's back, and that's a back prime. That's down, and that's a down prime. Left, left prime, right, and a right prime. Okay, I'll do a scramble for you guys. Sorry guys, I'm a bit nervous about this, which is why I'm quite warm, but I think I'll be fine. Knowing me, I'll do this on it all. Right. I'll sort of talk it through as I'm doing it. So, pick a side that you would like. We'll go for blue this time. So, okay, let's go for it. So first of all, putting the cross together, using the moves, corners. Take that out, make sure it's on the side. Whoops, see I popped it in the wrong one. So if you pop it in the wrong one, it doesn't match on the colour, you have to pop it in the right one. There we go. Leave a spot, orange and white. Put the hole underneath, slot it in, slot it in, find another one, slot it in. I've actually solved the edge at the same time. If you ever solve an edge at the same time, just continue. And just knock the edge out. Ah, I can't do 
do that, can I? I might actually do have to move that underneath it first. There we are. And now we're trying to get this going. See, got the blue on the bottom. So you got the white there and the white there. You always want to move up the opposite colour. Now we need to take care of that. Get the cross. It's quite lucky to land on that. Now for the corners. And now this bit. And there we go. 